Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. I'm pretty excited to get to talk about this question because when I worked a rather large pre-release over the weekend, this was one of the top things that I saw people getting confused about. Amy taps an Armored Scrap Gorger for mana while there are no cards in graveyards. Does Armored Scrap Gorger get an oil counter? In order to answer this question, let's take a look at the ability that Armored Scrap Gorger has. It says when this becomes tapped, then we exile a card and we put an oil counter on it. Okay, so this is a triggered ability. You can tell because it uses the word whenever and it's gonna trigger when this becomes tapped. Okay, so far so good. Now that the triggered ability is triggered, it's time to put it onto the stack. And the process for doing so is pretty similar to the process that you use when you activate an ability and need to put it on the stack or when you cast a spell and need to put it onto the stack. So if you've been a longtime fan of the channel, you'll know that one of the steps in that process would be to choose targets. Now, based on the information in the original problem statement, Amy is not able to choose a target for this ability because there are no cards in graveyards for her to target. This is bad news for Amy because if you're trying to put a triggered ability on the stack, but you are not able to perform one of the required steps, the triggered ability just cannot go on the stack. It just goes away. So that means the Armored Scrap Gorger would not get a counter. If you're wondering, this is exactly the same reason why pretty much all Planeswalker loyalty abilities that have a target would include some sort of language that says something like up to one target. This allows you to activate those abilities even if there is no thing that you can target. If the Scrap Gorger were reworded so that it said that it exiled up to one target card from a graveyard, then that would change the answer to this question. Another important thing to notice is that the Armored Scrap Gorger does not make it optional to exile the card that you targeted. It doesn't say you may exile the card. And so what that means is you might be stuck in a situation where this thing becomes tapped and you're forced to exile a card that you don't want to. Pretty awful, but it does kind of fit with the Phyrexian flavor, am I right? But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another Daily Ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.